welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we're always thrilled to find out about the many things going on in our vibrant arts community here in the Greater Baton Rouge area. And here to tell us a little bit about that from the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge, Renee Chatelaine joins us. How are you doing this morning? Just great. How are you? This is always such a great thing for the community. Uh, so many ways to, you know, enrich yourself through, through musical culture. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the exciting things you have coming up. You know, there, there are so many great arts and cultural things happening in the city all the time, and it's exciting to know that on any given night you have not <laughs> one but many choices. Um, we're really excited to be bringing the River City Jazz Masters again. Um, this is the ninth year, and uh, on November 10th we'll be bringing Paquita de Rivera. He'll be returning. He, he's an artist that has been here before. Wonderful Latin jazz artist. Um, just an amazing evening. And um, we're really thrilled because along with Paquito's performance, we'll be introducing Scene Rouge, which is a new membership program with the Arts Council. And um, it, was, it was developed because we have lots of new people coming in, lots of young professionals coming into our city. Right. And we want to give them sort of a menu of all the great cultural happenings. And so um, while the Arts Council is launching this membership campaign, it really extends to all of the arts groups in the city. So if you're a member, of Scene Rouge, then you get half price tickets to some of the selected events in the city, whether it's Theater Baton Rouge, Playmakers, oh, wow. the Symphony, uh, the Ballet. Um, it, many, many people have participated. And so Paquito is the Arts Council's Scene Rouge event where you can come beforehand, you can network, meet people who like things that, as you do, that maybe you've just moved to Baton Rouge and you want to get to know people who like jazz as well. Um, come early, you know, have a cocktail, and then go to the theater. And one other exciting thing about Paquito is that we're partnering with the Manship Theater on this event. And so um, we have joined forces for this particular endeavor. And I, of course, love that since I was at the Manship Theater. That's right. And have a special place in my heart for them. Well, it's certainly a spectacular venue, and being a musician myself, I'm very familiar with this series. It's always really world-class entertainment that people are able to take advantage of. I mean, it's really the best of the best that come and do these events. Yeah, you know, the River City Jazz Coalition is a group of folks here in Baton Rouge who actually recommend musicians for the series, and that was, of course, begun with Derek Gordon. And what's so exciting is when I go to New York and I go to Los Angeles, I go to Chicago, these other venues, they know Baton Rouge because of the River City Jazz Master Series. So it has national recognition because of what you're saying about the high standard of the artists that come through here. And it just makes me proud to be in Baton Rouge and be part of this endeavor. Well, it's a big part of being a great city, and I know that's something that we all want and aspire to. You have the Festival of Lights that'll be coming up before long. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, this is um, a partnership with um, the city parish, with the mayor's office, with downtown development district, and with the Arts Council, and it's the lighting of the Christmas tree, Santa comes, um, there's ice skating outside that's free, you can sleigh down, they're gonna bring tons of snow, uh, of ice, I should say, <laughs> where you can sleigh down the hill at Repentance Park. Um, we'll have an arts market there, so you can do some Christmas shopping or holiday shopping while you're there. And, and then, of course, the community comes together with lots of live entertainment. And so from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on December 4th, you can come for free and you can enjoy all of these activities. It's family friendly, really a great thing for our city. Just a few seconds left, Renee. Tell the folks where they can go to find out more. Um, they can go to our website, which is artsbr.org, or they can call the Arts Council at 344-8558, and we would be happy to talk to you about any of these things. Visit our arts market. You know, there are lots of things in the city. Just really support the arts here. Fantastic. Thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about it. Thank you. Well, coming up next on Across Louisiana, you might think of them for physical therapy, but they're also there for you with pelvic health. It's peak performance physical therapy. Take a look. Pelvic floor therapy is something that lots of people don't know about um, or know that they can get help for. It's a very sensitive subject. People don't really like to talk about it around here, about bladder dysfunction, bowel dysfunction, or any kind of pelvic pain. But it's very common for women, uh, especially after having babies or in the menopausal years. So having a place like this is a very comfortable, place for them to come so that they can get treatment for their um, pelvic muscle dysfunction and we can really work to eliminate the bladder and bowel symptoms. 
So at the initial evaluation, um, we sit and talk where the patient tells me their symptoms, I get a good medical history on the patient, and then I explain to them the function of the pelvic muscles related to their bladder or bowel dysfunction. When we come into the treatment room, we use the biofeedback technology to get a muscle reading. Uh, we watch it on the computer screen, the patient watches it with me, we analyze the muscle strength, I show the patient this is what um, your strength looks like, this is what we're looking for. We also look at resting pelvic muscle tone, endurance, coordination, and we do this each time the patient comes to therapy. Uh, when they go home, they do not have the technology obviously, but they have homework that they practice, and then once they come back, we check and compare from session to session to make sure that we're giving the right exercises and that we're improving uh, strength from uh, as the weeks go on. It was a friend of uh, Lacey's, Lauren, and she was my physical therapist. And so we discussed, I was telling her about some issues that I had, and she uh, told me about Lacey. And I said, you know, I'd really like to try that. And uh, she told me a little bit about it, and I had some issues that I thought Lacey would be able to help me with. And consequently, that's exactly what happened. She was able to help me with a lot of things that had been on my mind and I'd been worried about because I I have frequent things to happen to me and I didn't want to uh, have surgery in other words and so throughout this uh, sessions that we've had it's all work it's been very beneficial strengthening is I would say only about 50 percent of what goes on here though um, the other 50 percent is education um, I really I think it's extremely important to educate the patient on how the bladder and how the pelvic muscles work together so that you can use those muscles to retrain and to eliminate the symptoms. She gives me a lot of information that I can use at home. Everything we go through, she gives me papers that have the instructions for things that I can do at home, the exercises I can do at home, and which is really beneficial to me. Patients really um, feel so much better about themselves after coming to therapy. I have lots of patients who will come in and say, I can't go anywhere without going straight to a restroom. And then they'll a few weeks later come back and say, I went to eat dinner and I didn't even have to go to the restroom the whole time I was there. That's huge. I'm at the end of it, end of my sessions now, and everything has, she got me up to exactly where she wanted me to be, the percentage wise. And so I'm good to go. I can graduate now. And, that's what I'm going to do. As an occupational therapist, it's a very rewarding feeling to know that you've changed someone's quality of life. And that's really what it's all about. Um, we look at the computer a lot when we're doing our exercises and everyone says, what number do I have to, how strong do I have to be to, to, to get rid of my symptoms? And there's no set number. There's no set, if you contract your muscles and squeeze to 20 millivolts, you won't leak anymore. It's, it's different for every single patient. It's specific to each individual and when people are very dedicated to exercising and to um, and, and, and making the changes that are necessary, they see huge impacts. Their results are amazing and um, they tell everybody they know now. They talk about it all the time because they feel like everybody needs to know um, about this place and you've got to come to therapy. It helped me so much. For more information, you can look us up at peakphysicaltherapy.com or call us at 225-292-2526. The Peak Pelvic Floor Clinic is located on Jefferson Highway uh, in between Blue Bonnet and Airline. I really thought that this Blue Bonnet Jefferson area was a great place to be to accommodate patients coming from all parts of Baton Rouge. If you come and see us at the Peak Pelvic Floor Clinic, I promise to help improve your quality of life, make you feel comfortable, and help get your life back. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out about the great work being done here in the greater Baton Rouge community by an organization called STAR. Don't miss it.